What is going on everybody? Today we are in Dunedin, Florida. Now Dunedin is a small town on the Gulf Coast of Florida, right next to Clearwater. And I'm gonna take you around and show you the sights of Dunedin so you can see just what it's like to maybe live here or vacation here. So without any further ado, let's check out Dunedin. Sunshine, blue skies, it's a state of mind that we came to find. I'm talking about Paul. Welcome to Dunedin, a city on Florida's Gulf Coast that is known for its beaches and pine forests and also its small town charm. And what better to talk about first in this video than the charming downtown of Dunedin. The historic downtown Dunedin Business District is most notably known for its absence of large commercial signage, corporate franchise restaurants, and chain retail stores. Instead, you'll find a mixture of quaint ma and pop shops, beach themed restaurants and eateries, murals painted by local artists, and even a trolley that will take you around town. And if a stroll around town is more your thing, you're in luck. I don't think I've ever seen a more walkable downtown than I have here in Dunedin. And to top it off, the Pinellas Trail, a 39 mile long bicycle and pedestrian trail, runs right through the heart of downtown. I do want to point out that I am a licensed Florida realtor. So if you are thinking about moving to Dunedin or anywhere within the state of Florida, please reach out to me by email, floridawith5 at gmail.com. Spell it all out. I have connections with realtors all throughout the state and I'd be happy to put you in touch with them to make sure that you get the best service possible. Maybe downtown isn't your thing and you'd prefer the peacefulness of parks instead. Dunedin is home to a handful of spectacular parks. If you have kids, you'll love Josiah Cephas Weaver Park. This park is nestled in a tranquil setting and has an awesome playground for the little ones. You can even get your fitness on at the Fit Zone, located directly adjacent to the play equipment. After sweating it out, you can take the kids fishing off the fishing pier. Talk about a family day. Another great park option in Dunedin is Edgewater Park. And if you like to people watch, well, then this is your place. It's located right on the marina, so you can watch the boats come in and go out all day long. Edgewater Park also offers a playground, tons of green space, a gazebo, and picnic tables if you're looking to have a picnic lunch. Driving through town, it's clear to see why such a variety of people choose to call Dunedin home. The housing options are seriously endless. From condos to older single family homes near downtown, to newer subdivisions with three to four bedroom homes, there's even multi-million dollar waterfront mansions if that's what you're into. Just be sure to invite me over for a swim, and maybe dinner. With a median home sale price of about $425,000, Dunedin is slightly more expensive than its neighbor to the south, Clearwater, whose median home sale price is $368,000, and slightly less expensive than its neighbor to the north, Palm Harbor, whose median sales price is about $440,000. Maybe it was just the areas that I visited, but one thing that stuck out to me about Dunedin is that no matter which neighborhoods I drove through, they all seemed extremely well kept and people seemed to take pride in living there. With a population just over 36,000, Dunedin isn't big, but it by far isn't small either. Being close to some of the finest beaches in the state in Honeymoon Island and Caladesi Island State Parks definitely has its perks, but it also has its drawbacks as well. Dunedin is often busy, especially on the weekends, there have been numerous times where we have been stranded at a standstill on the causeway for a half hour or even more, trying to make our way to Honeymoon Island State Park. Which by the way, if you've never been here, you're definitely missing out. Go check it out. The fact that the area is often visited by tourists also means that those mom and pop stores and local restaurants can often be packed. Which is great if you're the owner or a member of the waitstaff, but can be frustrating if you're a local just trying to get a bite to eat. If you were to ask me, the waits are totally worth it. So this was Dunedin, what did you think? Does it look like a place that you'd like to visit or maybe even live? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear about it. And remember, if you're looking for a realtor anywhere in the Sunshine State, be sure to send me a message. You can reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, or by email. All of those links are down in the description of this video. And as always guys, I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.